Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Insomnus, ready for Halloween, ooh spooky. Uh, anyway, this was developed by Path Games, published by Meridium Games and is usually available for £16.74 slash $19.99 but it does go on sale quite frequently. The lowest one it's been has been £5.85 slash $6.99 in America. So always keep a lookout for them sales unless you've already got it on the sale and you just haven't got round to it. In which case, ta-da, here I am. So uh, basically this is uh, this manor that we are uh, having a look at. It's just been abandoned and we've got a, this whole bunch of creepy stuff going on um, which involves ghost kids. And as we all know, the creepiest ghosts are always the ones of children because children are creepy. And that's not me saying that, I re I merely just um, read it down and made it up. So anyway, as for achievements then, uh, that's what we're going for, yes. Um, basically we've got a whole lot of collectibles that we need to grab, um, a lot of puzzles that we need to complete. There's no enemies or anything in the game, it's more of a psychological horror type thing, um, but we can get this done in about 40 minutes. So with that being said then, Let's do it! And another thing I should mention is that there is no chapter select or anything. The game is relatively short, or it is very short, which is good. So if you do end up missing something, like uh, we got to collect book, um, uh, books, no, not books, uh, like postcards, or letters, toys, and diaries. So if you do end up missing one of them, you are going to have to start it again. But again, I'm going to try and not. You know, we're going to go through this together and get it all at once. By the way, that's the most annoying noise at the very start of that I've ever heard. Jesus Christ, my eardrums just collapsed in itself. Anyway, we're back, we're good, we're ready to start the game. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what we're looking for then. Collectibles and mainly puzzles. So, after the old chit-chat... I don't want to read Will. South Matt's lock. Just come by our offices to sign some documents. And pick up the keys. Farewell, Joe. So, as we begin, let us press B to turn on the flashlight. Uh, it's the very obvious one, since it'll tell you on screen. Press ba 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 There we go, happy days. So, what we're going to do then, we're going to go to the left and have a look in this drawer. First of all, press the A button to open it up. And press the A button to obviously take it. The key. Taketh the, taketh the key, taketh the man. Turn directly around, head towards the back, you can see this electrical panel, open it up, turn it on, and we're going to get our first achievement here for activating the house lights. Hooray! We are special and Q. Head to the left, go through the door. Head to the left again, and go through the next door. This uh, game can be very dark. Go straight in front of us to have a look at what looks like a medicine cabinet, but it's actually got a book in it. So this is where we need to pick up the Insomnus book. Spooky. Right, turn around and then slightly left here and go through the next door. Eventually, here we go. And then immediately turn to your left and immediately, basically again, you can see the first toy collectible that we can grab here. Press the A button twice there to take it. And then a little bit further down, you can see our first letter as well. Or postcard. So you can uh, press X to show the text if you want, but we're just going to crackle on. So turn directly around again and then go through the open door on your left. Turn to immediately to your right, and there's another letter, which is just chilling on this second-to-bottom shelf. So, isn't that fantastic? So, turn directly around. So, basically left as we come through the door. And there's another letter. And then from here, we're going to take a right. So, turn your camera to the right. Go past the music-y standy, and on this shelf right there is the next letter. See, all scary, spooky stuff going on so far. Finding letters. Right, so from here then, take a right from where you were. Uh, left trigger to crouch if you want. Head towards the stairs, but actually don't go to the stairs just yet. Just to the right of the stairs is another toy. So again, this is not going up the stairs. This is just in the middle area of where the stairs were. And now we can finally head up the stairs. It's a long walk. Yes, we can't run in the game either because, you know, why would you run away from spooky stuff? Huh. So, straight in front of us then is another letter as we get on the stairs, uh, up the stairs just to the table, or on the table. And then slightly to the right of that is the next toy with a knife sticking out of it. 
because that's not ominous at all, is it? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, so turn direct more or less to your right, and you can see a mask on a statue. We're going to pick that up, and then, whoa, dude, it's a chicken breast. Damn. I mean, you never thought that I'd seen a boo before, have you? Anyway, just behind the statue is the next toy. Continuing down the hallway. And on your left, you can see a little panel with some chalk writing on it. Press the A button to open it up to get the next achievement called A Secret Place. And then turn directly around to go into the door with the bathroom. In the bathtub. Oh my God, it's so dark now. Uh, grab the toy off the bathtub. Stupid ghost in the crap in my pants. And then on the right-hand side of the wall, grab this next piece of clothes. The dressing gown you can leave there. It doesn't fit us anyway because we're all so beautifully huge. So out of the door, back down the hallway, we're going to take the next door on our right. There it is. Head inside. Eventually. And then on our left is the first of five phones. Now, this is where you actually save the game. The game doesn't auto save. You have to find these five uh, find these five phones. And then just underneath the bed here, trapped, is the lion guy after he just have a big mouthful of statue boob. Uh, on the right hand side of the cabinet uh, the bed is the cabinet with the next postcard on it. And then if we go to the other side of the left bed. The lion and statue's bed. Uh, there is a key. And that's what we're going to fiend. Find. Right, from here we're going to head out of the bedroom. And we are going to take uh, a left, slightly left down, back down the stairs. All the way back down. Yeah. And we're going to take the second door on our right. So go through the second door on the right. And we've got a new room. Head straight through the next door until... You hear that stupid, creepy-ass kid. Take a left, and there's another postcard on the bookshelf right there. I'd actually forgotten about that little, tiny, loud-ass jump scare. That's why I cracked my pants there in recording. And then if we turn around, you can see another couple of bookshelves. You're going to put this book where the, um, where the gap was, and then you need to pull that book again in order to get the next achievement and for the door to open on our left. So give it a pull and that'll open up and away we go. Right, so heading in and straight in front of us on the left is the next toy, which we can grab. Again, make sure to press the A button twice there to pick it up. And then slightly to your right on the desk, on the statue, is the floppy disk. Again, any skibbity toilet bowl kids will be looking at this going, what the hell is that? Anyway, to the right of the statue, on the next shelf, is the next postcard. Postcards coming at us thick and fast. So, getting out of this room, we're going to take a left out of the next room, and then we're going to head back up these stairs. There's going to be a new room that's going to be open to us right now. And again, you wouldn't think to actually just run away from the house because screw solving spooky ghost mysteries. Anyway, enter the red lit room, have a look at the dollhouse on our left and pick up the old uh, Sonic the Hedgehog toys. Sonic the Hedgehog if he was just coming out of rehab. And uh, you can see a whole bunch of letters on the floor here. What you need to do is actually spell out a bunch of names. So the first one, we need to find A, and we're going to spell out Anna, and that should just be straight across. So A-N-N-A, -N -N -A. Anna. There we go. So once that is totally lit up, you'll start heading out the door. And creepy ass kid will start running to the right. So yeah, Amen. we're gonna follow it. So continuing on straight oh, down, but before you go into the door, have a look at the shelf here on the right to find yet another letter. That's job done. Now we're gonna head through the open door and again, straight in front of us, sitting down on a desk very quietly, is that big bear from Toy Story 3, Strawberry Face. Now, on the left-hand side of this shelf is the next phone as well, so that should be phone two out of five. Make sure to interact with it to save the game. And on the pedestal thing here is the next letter, just to the right of where the last phone was. And again, don't worry, you're not going to get sliced up. You're just going to grab the key. Sorry, kid, please don't chase me and make me crap my pants. I don't have a spare. Once you grab the key, head out of the doorway anyway, and then we are going to continue down the stairs once more. 
And when we do get down to the stairs once more, what we're going to do then is take a right again into the second right-hand side door room, straight through into the next area, taking a right, immediate right, go through the door, and on our immediate left is a vinyl. So it's just in this, it's kind of hard to see, but there it is. It's just in that little vinyl section holdy thing. Now if you head around the ghost-like tables, I say the ghost like they've literally just got blankets on them, sheets on them. Uh, you can find this memory game. Now, this we're going to take this because it's needed for an achievement in just a little bit. So, heading back around. Oh, my God! Uh, Jesus Christ! And, yes, that was genuine. Um, that was a genuine reaction because I was recording this in the dark and I forgot about the loudness of the crap pantingly jump scariness. Anyway, um, grab the... Shorts from the chest and then around to the chair right here to find another toy. Oh, okay. I had to stop recording. I turned the light on now because I'm a fanny. Um, head to the back side of the room to find another postcard. And then take a left through the next door. And then left again to go back up the stairs. So, uh, yes. So, yes. I thought I'd leave my genuine reaction in there because ah, that must be funny looking back at it. Head back to the left to the school classroom looking area. And we're going to play this memory game. Now, it's the same every time. So we're going to start with the top left and then the bottom left. Yeah, and it'll be the same every time. So you can follow along just nicely. And then the bottom two. And then flick over the bottom right and the top right. And then the second or the third one on the top row. And then the on the middle row, the left one. And then just do the final two. And that will get you the uh, professional player achievement. That's for completing Anna's puzzle. And from there, we can just go not into that room, but into the next room on our left, back into the red lighting room, where we're going to spell the name Oswin. So that's O S W. And then turn up and then go to I and N. And again, as long as they lit up, uh, Oswin will appear and he'll be even creepier than Anna. And people wonder why I don't do more horror games because I'm a little scaredy cat. So once you've met Oswin, head into the room onto the right. And then interact with the vinyl player. And that'll get another achievement going. And then we can head left into the spooky old mannequin. Take a left. Grab the shirt now from the wardrobe. And then turn around. Interact with the mannequin where Oswin will just, again, he'll make you schnizzle yourself. Stupid. See, this is why kids are stupidly scary. And then head to the left once more because that is Oswin's puzzle all done. Head back into the red room, and this time we're going to spell out Charlie. So, at the top left, CH. Again, if you accidentally hit another letter, you'll just have to go... You'll have to just restart the letters once again. Because, as you can see, it didn't work. Because his name's not Chorley. Chorley. So, CHA, and then down, and then to the left. And there we go, and that should be lit up lovely. Charlie. Where does that music get? Okay, just run away. All right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, head down the steps. Charlie's going to be all like, boom. And then he's going to disappear. And then we have to, uh, in order to do this next puzzle, we have to complete this in a certain um, way. So the first button we're going to press is Y. And then X. And then A. And then X. And then A. And finally, right bumper. And then once you've done that, that'll get the puzzle going. And then we can turn around to see Charlie with a bag on his head, just chilling. But we're going to head back up the stairs. And we're going to head back into the red lit room where we are going to find the last name, which is Beth. And Beth starts all the way just underneath Anna right there. So B-E-T-H all the way down. And that'll do it. That'll meet Beth, the Beth man. The meth man of Beth man. Welcome to Breaking Beth. Breaking Bad. So head to the left 
Once you come out of the red lit room, head inside the building. What a stir! Genuinely, that noise is. I'm. I hate you. I hate noises. Anyway, all right, it's not that bad. But still, uh, go into the bathroom, do yourself a little twizzly twinkle twirl, come out. We're basically just following the chalk lines is what we're doing. So heading into the next room here on the right and into the next room and take a right and then just go, well, I say take a right, basically do another swizzle twinkle twirl and come back out to the room. Head this time into the left-hand side room where we can see the bedroom. On the left-hand side, on the table here, is the next letter. Where you can see Beth just jumping on the bed. And the little one said, roll over, roll over. Right, uh, to the other side of the door, or the, the way we came in, so the right-hand side of the door, there is the next toy, which was just chilling on the chair. Once you've done that, head to the right once we get out of the bedroom and head back down the stairs. It's a lot of chalk. Somebody took a long time doing this. How did I miss that? All right, so again, just continue to follow the chalk lines. Sometimes it still can be easy to get lost because it's so dark, but you're going to head into the room on our left and then take an immediate left again. And then there's the next phone on the wall, so interact with the phone in order to get a nice cheeky little game saved. Turn directly around and then slightly to the left on this table here is the next letter. This one can be a little bit finicky to grab. Uh, you may have to press the left trigger to crouch down and, you know, give that a go that way. Nah. Come on, stupid letter, before I before I throw you in the bin. See? See, you just got to get a little bit nasty with these letters. Let them know who's boss. Anyway, that should actually be the last letter that you should grab. So continuing on from where the table was, you can see Beth just writing chalk on the floor. And then what we're going to do is head back around and head out of the door. Take a left. So again, just following the chalk lines. Through to the next door. Take an immediate left again. And again, like you can four. see the next phone. So that should be four fo uh, phone. Four out of five. So out of the room, continuing again to follow the chalk lines. All the way through. All the way through. Take an immediate right again with the manic uh, into this memory tabley whatever it was. Continue to follow the chalk lines through, and you can see um, a random creepy baby with a clock arm sticking out of it. So here is my price. Yes, there is your price. Definitely sounded more like price than prize. Am I right? I think so. Okay, so once we've completed Beth's puzzle, let's head back up to the bedroom now. That's what it said on the door, didn't it? The bedroom. So heading to the left and heading back up the stairs. And then we're going to take a left and then a left again back into the bedroom. Man, I know some alcoholics there. Ooh, yeah, I'd like some red rum. So take a look at the four clocks. The first one here is Oswin's. Now we need to do these at specific times. The first one, Oswin, is at 1030 and then to the right of that is Anna's clock, and this one is 6.45. Uh, so the first one, Oswin's 10.30, Anna's 6.45. Go to the other side of the room where you can see another two clocks. And uh, Charlie's one is going to be 1.15. There we go, 1.15 for Charlie. And then to the right of that is Beth's clock, which is going to be 5 o'clock on the dot. And then once you look behind you, you can see all four of the kids just creeping you out to... Oh, come on, game. You don't need that kind of bloody noise, do you? No, come on. Come on now. Anyway, grab the batteries once all those spooky kids have disappeared. And once again, we're going to head back down these stairs. Once you've gotten down here, take a left and then a left again into the next door or through the next door, we've been in this room before. Um, and then we'll go right, again, this room is very hard to see, where you can see the radio. Now this one's gonna take a few minutes, but basically what you need to do is, with the right stick, you need to tune it all the way up to the right, so it's up to a thousand, and then with the left stick, you need to move that to the left until the volume is all the way up. Once you have done that, you're just gonna have to wait for a couple of minutes in order to listen to a hidden message and get us the War of the Worlds achievement. But again, this may take about a minute and a half to two minutes. <laughs> I 
It's so loud! Anyway, once that achievement has been done, use the right stick to tune it back down once to 900, and you get the spooky message there. Four children went out and three came back. That's uh, pretty damn spooky. So you need to interact with certain paintings. So directly behind you from where we were standing at the radio, interact with this painting first. That is a picture of Superhero Bra. Take a right, and then right at the back of the room, this is the next painting, right next to the phone. The one where you got R.I.P., it the clown stuff. Uh, go back down on yourself again, and then this time pass the radio. Interact with this painting. There's two kids on the swing, and then immediately to your left is the next painting we're going to interact with. And then go towards the door, and just to the right of the door is the last painting, which if you've done that correctly, you should get the crank. Yeah, Mona Lisa's smile. Oh, yeah. Right, so we've got the picture puzzle done, so head to the right and the head back up the stairs. Right, so take a right, and just next to the statue, you can see this wall with a hole in it. Interact with that, and then interact with the final toy, and that should get you the... Uh, what is it? The My Lovely Toys achievement for finding all of the toys. Yes, of course. So if you've been following along, you would have got that one. Um, and then hopefully from here, all we've got to do now is find nine quick diaries, and then that is pretty much that. Here we'll find so we're into the secret laboratory. Seems like we've done a lot more than the 22 minutes into the game have suggested. Huh. So we need to interact with four bloody hands. The first one is immediately on our left. Interact with that twice. Slightly a little bit more forward on the bottom row is the next bloodied hand. So interact with that twice. Directly to your right from the last one up above is the last. I mean, they look more like it looks more like paint, doesn't it? More, more, ugh, more like gloves. And then just on the bottom row, a little bit further on is the fourth one. Once you've done that, interact with the ID card, which has just appeared out of nowhere. Ooh. And then we can use the key card on the door. Bing bong. Once we get in, first thing we're going to do is take a, a left uh, door, the door on the left, interact with the uh, mini fridge. It doesn't have any beers in it, I'm afraid, or anything good, but it does have some chemical explosions. So interact with that, and then the diary right next to it. This is the first out of nine that we're going to grab. Immediately yeah, turn around, and the other side of the room, so just behind this vending machine, is the next diary. Again, you may have to crouch in order to pick it up. And then once you've done that, I, I don't think it was a vending machine, but still. Anyway, head out and straight through into the next door, taking a right, and this is the final phone. So you should get the Doctor Strangelove achievement here. Turn directly around and interact with the next diary, just next to the CCTV camera recording brat. And then to the right of that, we're going to pick up the film reel. That should be one out of two that we've grabbed. And that's all there is to go in this room. So from here, we're going to take a right. And then we're going to take a left because we're going to open up this next door. And the code, once again, is always the same. It's going to be 0315. So 0, 3, 1. Ah! <coughs> Sorry, never mind. 0315. Anyway, once you're in, go directly in front of us, have a look at the mini fridge again for another chemical. And then slightly to your left, or basically immediately to your left, sorry, is the next diary page entry. Get out of this room and then take a left. And then we're going to take the first door on the right, or the only door on the right. And immediately on your right, head all the way down with to find another diary page or another diary entry. Now, we have to do this in a, well, we're going to go to the, oh, in fact, we're going to go to the left first, because uh, in, not in this one, but in the one to the right of it, is the next diary entry as well. This one can be very easily missed, so make sure to grab that diary entry there from one of the morgue freezers. And what we have to do then is grab specific children out of the freezers in not a specific order, but you have to do them. You have to make sure that they're all the kids. So the first one's in the bottom right-hand corner. And then just two over, where the basically where the blood trails are coming out of, is the second kid. And then we're going for three, the third one over. That's where the next one is. Now, 
where we just pulled that last one out just once just to the one to the right of it and then in the top one is the fourth and final kid and that will open up this bit to grab the film reel so that'll be number film reel number two out of two turn directly around and we're going to head into the next door on our right we did open up this door but we're going to explore the room on our right first and there's not much to explore we're just getting an achievement in here so grab the next diary page diary entry and make sure to interact with the film projector as well to get the super 8 achievement take a next right into the next room interact with the delicious mini fridge as well you can try this if you want probably just tastes like vodka slushy doesn't it but probably not make sure to grab the diary entry right next to that mini fridge as well as the chemical turn around and on the right hand side of the room or left hand side if you're coming in through the door grab the last diary entry okay so once you got that interact with the machine at the end we just have to do this in a specific way so you're going to press the x button three times or square if you're on playstation so three times and then the a button once or the cross button once and then the y slash triangle button four times in order to get this one completed plus you would have already got the you would have just got the reader achievement for finding all the readable objects during the game as well so yeah they're just popping at us thick and fast make sure to pick up the chemical uh, because i didn't i don't think it I, I don't know if it makes a difference there but i didn't actually um pull it up pick it up but we are coming to the end of the game and we have to do a little bit of cloud save manipulation now i'm going to show you exactly how to do it so head into the room on our left Make sure to interact with the phone again to get the game completely saved. And then once you've done that, then um, press again. Oh, this is only on Xbox, of course. So what you're going to do, we are going to force quit the game. So go uh, press the Xbox button, go to Insomnis and completely quit out again. Doing this will make a backup save to the cloud. Um, so once this is done, we're just going to continue on. So you just need to force quit out so that it backs up your save to the cloud. That's why we do that. And then we can delete the local save um, after we do the first ending. So get back into the game anyway. Alrighty, chucks. Getting out of the door, we're going to head to the left once again. Let's get the first ending out of the way then. And then what we'll do is we need to interact with the floppy disk thing on the right and then the chemical bro on the left. That's why we picked up the chemical, by the way. And then once you've done that, the computer should then come on, go over to settings, go down to delete all info, and then type in the password Joe. So that's J O E. Hello, Joe. If you shall die before you wake. Everyone knows that Simpsons quote. In fact, I can't speak to anyone called Joe without thinking of that specific Simpsons reference. Hello, Joe. Anyway, we're just waiting for everything to be deleted. And this will be the end of the game. Now, it's very important that at the end of the game, you do not skip the credits whatsoever. It will take about five minutes or so to complete. Um, but for an achievement called One Last Breath or Last Breath. Thanks, Joe. If you shall die before you wake. <laughs> anyway, head to the right. Once we get out of that room, go straight ahead and then basically into the room with the hands. And you're more or less just taking a right and then a left and then basically the game will end here but as i said do not skip the credits one iota don't even think about it because you need to watch every single bit of credits so that is this next whole bit and then you know when it all starts coming up on screen you need to do that for the last breath achievement so again um this will take about five minutes or so um, but for the next credit scene, I've actually just sped it up. But again, make sure to not skip the credits. Okay. Mm
Now, the achievement now should unlock Last Breath. I did leave in the, um, uh, the, the two people and the dog memorial there. That was a, a, a nice uh, sign of respect from me and very much from the developers as well. So, what we're going to do is go straight into Manage Game and Add-ons. We're going to go down to Save Data. Go onto your gamer tag, and then make sure to delete from console. Delete from console, not delete everywhere. Make sure to delete from console. Once you have deleted from console, you can now go back into the game. And once you continue, you should start off from where we last saved it, which was by the phone. Okay, so we are coming up to the end now. This is, again, if you have a check, you should be on 26 out of 27 achievements. But once, you should be back here. So we're going to go back into that same room with the computer. And again, we'll just do the same thing. So put the floppy disk in the right and then the chemical on the left of the computer. Interact with it. Again, the password is Joe. Hello, Joe. Oh, I didn't even need to do it this time. That's weird. Anyway, this time we're going to save the backup. Oh, there it is. There's the password. So, yeah, this time we're going to save the backup. And, again, make sure to put in Joe as the password. And then just wait for that to finish. Once that has finished, make sure to take the old desk out. I'm not going to call it floppy because childish people will laugh. <laughs> floppy. Anyway, take a right into the room at the end and you're going to see that it's locked. You're going to turn around and the kid's going to have you, boys. They're going to mash you up. In fact, I'll tell you what that reminds me of. It reminds me of this scene. Let me go. To stay. You're thinking about hurting us. Now you're thinking, how did they know what I was thinking? Now you're thinking, I hurt that shepherd's pie in my knickers. Listen up, punks. The moral of the story is, the adults always win. Wah! For crying out loud, Eddie, you scared the hell out of me. Sorry, Chief. <laughs> Oh, yes, it's a classic. Anyway, once you have gotten through this first little bit of credit scene, the final achievement should unlock, and that should be 27 out of... Oh, try that again. 27 out of 27 achievements. A nice, easy, sort of uh, less than 40 minutes. About 40 minutes, isn't it? Um, a thousand out of a thousand and a new trophy to go with it. So, for crying out loud, Eddie, we're all done. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as always. So, thank you so, so much. And for everyone who interacts with me on the daily. Again, don't forget to check out my Gaming's Darker Side podcast. And I shall see you in the next one. Big love.